Good morning. Uh, my name is Peter Forgetsch. Um, I am working. Uh, I'm one of the developer of MediaMosa. I am working at Madcap, and my presentation is about MediaMosa, the open source video backend. <coughs> First, let's see what we can do with MediaMosa. We can uh, uh, upload uh, videos. We can play videos. Uh, we can uh, create uh, still images from the videos. We can create uh, metadata like uh, title, description, other fields. And of course, we can change uh, the pictures. We can order them. Uh, we can create a transcode. Uh, we can transcode a media file from one format to another format, and we can easily change metadata. OK, uh, let's see uh, uh, what we can do and how. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the official description of MediaMosa. MediaMosa is a robust, flexible, and highly scalable media, man media management platform. Uh, there are a lot of universities and education, uh, so ed education organizations uh, across Europe uh, using this uh, application. Uh, for example, we have clients in Italy uh, and uh, England. MediaMosa is an open source video backend. Uh, I will explain a little bit uh, this op open source video backend. Open source is easy, uh, so you can uh, download the source code, you can change the source code, you can share it, and um, you, uh, we have tracking system, we have a SVN repository, you can um, send patches for us, so it's open. Uh, the framework is Drupal 6 uh, for uh, earlier version and Drupal 7 for uh, later versions. Uh, this is not a Drupal module, uh, it's a complete installation. Uh, so MediaMosa is an open source video backend. Uh, what does it mean, video backend? Uh, the users uh, usually uh, meet with the video frontend, and the video frontend is uh, talk with the MediaMosa, uh, using REST calls, uh, POST and GET calls, and the response is usually XML. Why uh, the, this separation? It has two advantages. Uh, one of them, uh, one, one video backend uh, can support um, uh, more than one uh, video client. Uh, so it is cheaper, easier to maintain, and it has other advantage. Uh, it is integration for existing websites. So you have a website, you want videos uh, there, you can easily integrate it. What about the front end? Um, we have two um, different uh, video front end. The oldest one is the VLA, White Label uh, The newest one is the MediaMosa Construction Kit. Uh, we will release the second one soon. And uh, of course, you can create a video client if you are not satisfied with these two applications. Uh, you can, your application should communicate with MediaMosa through REST calls. What you can do uh, with MediaMosa, you can upload videos, store them, uh, transcode videos uh, for different formats, uh, generate video object, download links, uh, create still images. Uh, there are different methods uh, to create uh, still images. You can create uh, one uh, image from the video or for every five seconds or um, five um, stills for all videos. Or the more exciting, you can uh, create uh, still images for the scene changes. Uh, you can create metadata, uh, title, description, uh, doubling core fields, uh, qualified, qualified doubling core fields. You can create video collections. You can stream your videos. Uh, you can create authentications. You can decide uh, who can see videos, video or videos. A short introduction about MediaMosa, about the, uh, the um, main elements. Uh, MediaMosa store assets, and the asset is a container where you can store uh, title, description, uh, and other fields. An asset may have a media file, <coughs> media file or more, and the media file may have a video. Video, uh, of course, has a codec, file size, duration, and uh, you can uh, store, uh, we, we store this uh, data in the media file. Uh, you can uh, transcode the media file to another format, then you have an original uh, video and transcoded one. 
and you can uh, create, uh, upload another media file. So you have two originals and one transcoded. Uh, you can easily create still images from the videos, one or more, and you can set one of them as a um, default one. Uh, let's see why is it good. This is an example video site. You see assets with uh, the, uh, uh, default uh, still images and um, uh, metadata. And this is a video page which has a video object, still images, and uh, metadata. This is a real uh, application. This is the white label EHA. You see four assets here with uh, default still images. And this is one of the uh, video sites. You see a lot of uh, still images and a uh, lot of metadata. You can decide uh, what you put uh, on your uh, video front end. OK, it seems cool how you can download it. Um, we have a website, MediaMosa.org. We have different uh, MediaMosa versions. I suggest to use the latest one uh, because the, the 1.7 version will be, uh, won't be supported anymore. And you can download the video front-end too. Uh, you need LAMP, it means uh, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, and, uh, but of course, uh, if you have a, a free uh, BSD or open BSD, you can use it uh, instead of Linux, or uh, MariaDB works fine with this uh, installation. You need FFmpeg for uh, transcoding videos, uh, creating still images, uh, checking the videos, and you need Lua. Lua is a scripting language with help against Tensron uh, with the same reason. Uh, there are a lot of recommended applications like Love to Youth. Uh, it's part of the MEPEC tools. It's re responsible for the um, uh, sti still creation. Installation, it's like a Drupal installation. We have an install profile uh, called MediaMosa. You can use that one and uh, the application will be uh, installed uh, perfectly. Okay, uh, let's make it easier, because sometimes it's too difficult for the users. We have virtual machine image on MediaMosa.org. You can use that. Or we have a demo site. It's a, um, sorry, very easy admin admin, username, password. You can uh, use that, you can change that, you can freely uh, modify anything. Uh, the site is uh, reset itself in every hour. And uh, if you have uh, uh, multiple clients uh, with uh, hundreds of thousands of videos, you need performance improvement. So uh, MediaMosa is very flexible. You can uh, s create separate installations, for, um, for example, for an uh, admin interface. Admin interface so where the admin user can uh, make the, uh, change the settings. You can uh, separate the application interface for the REST calls. You can separate the upload interface, download interface, and the job interfaces. Uh, the job interfaces are re responsible for the transcoding video, uh, creating still images, and uh, other heavy uh, things. You should uh, use common uh, database server and uh, storage. Storage can be a, a file di directory, or um, you can use a SANAS uh, main point if you want. I talked about uh, the REST calls. Um, it is the communication interface uh, between the, uh, the clients and the servers. Uh, if the client uh, uses GET, it's uh, um, getting data. If you use POST, you, you want to change or something or create something, for example, uh, create an asset. The output is usually an XML. And we have a very good documentation page uh, um, on mediamosa.org slash API. This is uh, the, the page. You see the REST calls here. If you click one of them, you see the, the parameters, requested parameters, the response fields, and there are examples. This is, uh, data is not important. It is just for an example of what, how the is a response looks like. The white label EHA, the demo uh, front end, has a nice tool for developers. You can test your REST calls uh, like this. So how you can upload uh, a video? Um, 
your front-end application should create an asset uh, with asset create uh, um, REST call, the response is a unique asset ID, then you can create a media file, then the response uh, is a, media a unique media file ID, and then you can create upload ticket, this, for, this is for security reason, uh, your response is action URL, where your form should be submitted, and uh, there is an upload progress URL for nice uh, jQuery uh, progress bars. This is a real, uh, these are real applications, uh, you see the progress bar and the upload fields, the, uh, the metadata, metadata fields, others. Uh, future developments. Um, we, uh, we implemented the solar uh, integration. It's really speed up your uh, metadata searches. The, we, we will implement Atom, JSON and RSS feed too. We will implement uh, watermarking still images. It's very cool. You can easily watermark your uh, still images. Then uh, we will implement uh, Open API, uh, Open Authentication, and OEmbed. These uh, different uh, uh, open um, methods. Okay. Uh, this is Media Museum. This is the front page of the Media Museum. You see uh, the front page uh, status. Um, every status should be green or minimum yellow. If it's red, uh, you should fix something on your installation. This is a very handy page, by the way. Um, we have a browser and a statistic uh, page. The browser page, you can uh, browse your assets, you can uh, search assets if you want to change something. On, in the, your uh, backend, uh, there is a. Um, so here is the asset browser, here is the collection browser. You can see the log entries, you can see, uh, you can check the, your REST calls. Uh, this is the, your statistics. It will be improved later, uh, it know, uh, knows the basic statistics. This is uh, the configuration page. You can uh, configure uh, a lot of things, for example, servers. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you install uh, your media Musa, it will uh, prefetch uh, uh, data these fields. Later you can change if you want. You can uh, create client applications. This is the applications. Uh, this is the client servers. Uh, this is good for the client servers. You can set names, uh, passwords, quota, and a uh, lot of other things. You can configure um, your website. Uh, for example, uh, you can set uh, the debug settings. Um, you can set the, the mount points. You see here uh, Windows mount point. It is for historical reason. We don't support Windows. You can try, but uh, I suggest Unix. Um, then uh, we have uh, tool parameters, tool parameters for FMPEG. Um, and um, if you are familiar with FMPEG, uh, you see a lot of uh, um, parameters uh, uh, for the FMPEG, you can define new ones. It uh, it filter your your um, uh, transcode profiles, and here are the transcode profiles. For example, the most interesting is this H.264. This is uh, the default in my installation, um, and you can easily define other transcode profiles into if you want to transcode for uh, other. Um, for other uh, trans uh, profile. Okay, uh, questions, uh, if you have uh, my website, Midamusa website, and if you have questions, and now I can uh, answer. <laughs> okay.